Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mostly. I think you're in the screen. I, mostly there. Look, yeah. look. Yeah. VSC is now on the screen too. Yeah. Wait, where? There's my finger. There Hello, boo boo. <laughs> it's VSC day. <laughs> morning. I'm not sure what kind of morning yet. Yeah, I morning. didn't even. I didn't even check where the camera is. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Hang on. Everyone's gonna get a little seasick. You ready? Because I'm gonna tilt this. Yes. There. Because rather than having blank wall space, I want you to all see pretty yarn. Yeah. It's been one of those mornings, though, where I don't know what's going on. And it, it's really hard to focus. <laughs> oh, the lighting is so weird. Yesterday it was rainy. Mm -hmm. And now it's sunny. And it's just, I'm like, I know. What is going on? It, oh. Oh. I realized something else. Let's introduce ourselves okay. first. Hi. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to the Sun Dragon Sideshow. The VSC. The VSC version. Yeah. The adventures of us with our yarn today <laughs> and other things that we want to show you. Um, no, I wanted to... Um, I, I'm not done with introductions. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> I'm Liz. I'm the minion at Sun Dragon Art and Fiber. Not really doing my job this morning because it's hard to keep Rebecca on track. Squirrel. <laughs> I'm Rebecca. I am the owner of Sun Dragon Art and Fiber in Brevard, North Carolina. And I'm now remembering an idea I had for the yarn we want to show off today. Um, I wanted to show the sock head hat. Oh. Um, even yeah. though it's a different yarn for something we can do with this. I'm getting ahead I'll, of myself. I'll go grab it. Do you know where it is? I have a general idea, unless it got moved. <laughs> I mean, chances are it got moved because you know I was. I think I was for looking like for month, it the but, other day, and I yeah. couldn't. Well, um, okay. So we got in a few really small orders yesterday. We were hoping to get the fiber spates hand dyed tonals in yesterday because oh my gosh, they're lovely. And um, yeah, you can watch her look around for where I thought it was too, and it's not. Um, we were really hoping we could be showing off all kinds of fun things. Um, and that will have to wait for another week, but we still have fun stuff. Because part of what did come in are, um, you're so distracting right now. Didn't we show off that We map? did, and that's why I thought it might be over here. We got in an order of brand new colorways of heritage prints. Um, I'm going to give Liz a... Oh, I see it, Liz. Oh, It's on the table over there. The table um, over there. And here's the cool thing about heritage prints. So heritage is Cascade's sock weight yarn. And by sock weight, also known as fingering weight, we're talking about pretty thin stuff. Um, you can make shawls. You can make socks. That's the first sock I ever finished. Um, <laughs> it's sock weight or sock content is usually superwash merino and nylon. Nylon for strength. Um, superwash merino for durability as well. Um, washability, that kind of stuff. People make socks out of them. And yes, this is the first sock that Liz ever finished. And by finished, what we mean is I was doing a, a class on two at a time toe up socks. And I stalled out just after the heel and wasn't finishing them. And Liz decided to cast it off and just call it well, done. You, you said so reclaim the yarn for both of them. And I was like, ooh, we'll have a sample. It. So I finished a sock. And then she proudly declared to all of our knitters in the shop, I finished a sock. And they went, we didn't know you started a sock. How did you finish a sock? Never started one, just finished it. Anyway, so Heritage Prints. So we have a lot of great solids in Heritage. I'm gonna try to get those up at some point, probably not today, but um, the prints are really cool because they are what we call self-patterning yarn. And we used to always blow people's socks off, unintended pun. Um, if they came in the shop and we showed them this, and we said, this is in the yarn. You didn't have to change yarns or follow a pattern or do stranded color work 
to make it look like you did stranded color work, stripes and, and Fair Isle changing every other stitch. This one is called Autumn from um, Heritage. The only downside to having this one finished sock as a sample of what the yarn does is that this colorway is no longer available. Because the other thing you find about not self-striping, but self-patterning yarn, and we have various types in the shop, is a lot of yarn companies will do a limited run. And once that run is over, they're done. The colorways are done. We have a lot of the heritage prints that we, I mean, I've got a list this long in my inventory system, but we only have what we have on the table because a lot of those colors are no longer available. They're, they're so hard to reproduce that after a run or a certain number of runs, they discontinue them. Unless there's huge public outcry, like with one of our knit call colors, and it came back. That was awesome. But it, so. like, we have Seattle, and I bought up Seattle for a shawl. Um, it's the Seahawk colors right in front of you. Yes, we, but this we, is a new colorway. So they reissued it or something. They reissued it, but it's different. It's more gray. It had a lot of white in the lap. Mm -hmm. Because so. it must have been called something different because I looked back in my inventory because I had the same thing. I was like, we had this one before. It was But they 12. must have, yeah. It was they for called the 12. it 12. Because it, the 12th man. Sports Seattle, fans will Seattle. get that. Um, yeah. Because I, I did the same thing. I went, I thought we already had Seattle. But I couldn't find it in my inventory because this is a brand new colorway that's really close, but not the same. That's what I mean yeah, about... it's just slightly... Yeah. Mm -hmm. They have not done something exactly like this one. So, so these are the ones before you, and we're going to show you some in more detail. We'll hold them up. And the question is, how do you know if it looks like this, what it's going to do? And this is our only sample right now in the shop of how this works. Um, luckily for heritage prints, they will do their best to show you on the label. So like this one, we've had so many different ones that have red, white, and blue in them. And, um, I believe this one is called Boston. We haven't stickered these yet, so they only have the number on them, um, rather than the name, but we have the name in the system. I think this one's being called Boston, you know, for, you know, Independence, 4th of July, Boston. Um, it has red, white, and blue, also a little bit of gray, and then all of these will have a patch on them where they do their best to show you what it will look like knit up. So there you go. This one is Boston. Um, and I will say, so these self-patterning yarns, they are designed to look this way knit up. They're designed to look like every once in a while a, a, a knit stitch creeps in of a different color. So like you did, I call it fake fair isle. It's like you did yeah. fancy patterning without the fancy patterning. You still, you still do work. You're still knitting with it. But you're not having to manipulate the colors yourself. Does not necessarily work with crochet. That's what I was leading towards. Although I stumbled across a blog post by Arnie and Carlos that there's a way to make it look more pops of color, okay. so but they were like doing the it in like a granny square. Oh, that's cool. Where it that goes around cool. and around to where you get the different yeah. stripes. Um, this but. colorway, actually, I had someone at the beginning of our shop being open bring in crocheted socks they made with this colorway, and it still looked cool. It didn't look as, as like precisely patterned, but it looked really cool variegated. Yeah. So. It, it's it's fun. I've 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 crocheted with the the self patterning, mm -hmm. and it still, it looks, still cool. looks fun. It just when you look at when you look at the the what it looks like or the sock, and you're mm -hmm. like, oh, hmm. that's not exactly it's what it's not exactly. Do but it is yeah. still it's still fun to play with. Mm -hmm. And the other name I give this yarn, um, this type of yarn, is um, Rice Krispie Treat yarn. Yeah. Because when I was a kid, they had the commercials where the mom goes into the kitchen and says, you know, don't bother me. I'm going to be making Rice Krispie Treats. And She's reading a book. And she's like relaxing because Rice Krispie Treats are so easy. They're still work. Throws some flour in her face before she Poof, carries them Before out she goes, <sighs> you know, to make it look like she did a whole lot of work and she gets some time off, you know. So this is Rice Krispie Treat yarn. 
it will look like you, you blow people out of the water because it'll look like you did a lot more work than you did. You still worked. You still had to make those socks or that shawl. Um, but you didn't have to change colors. You didn't have to weave in mm -hmm. every different color yarn. So, um, so let's take a look at the colors that we have. Um, this, let, I'm, I'm pausing because I'm like, do we want to show you the old colors first or the new colors? Well, you can do some old colors and some new okay. colors. And the old colors are over in front of Liz. They're the ones right there. And what it means is they, will, they might look a little more disheveled because they've been on our shelves for a while. And we will have random quantities of them. And once they're gone, they might be gone for good. Like, we might not be able to reorder them. I think them. this one, it mm -hmm. is reds and It's pinks. very Valentine's. It it's, is very Valentine's. Mm -hmm. I think it is our last. Yeah. What's the color? We have one or two of those tops. I don't see it. Um, our price tag must have. Might be coloring, covering it up. I could look no. it up. Well, I could look it up on the computer. I want to say it's it called Roses. slipped off. It's not there. I want to say it's called roses. Yeah. Um, but that one, that one will have all shades of reds and maybe a little bit of pink. It's mm -hmm. kind of fun. Um, what else do we have over there? We have uh, Baltimore. It mm -hmm. is reds and blues and grays and golds. Mm -hmm. We have a few of those left. We only have this one's called Independence, which I think we only have a couple left of. But remember, we have the new color. Yep. And that they're almost. Very similar. They're very, very similar. There's just, yeah. they're not going to be identical if you were wanting to make something out of independence yeah. and you ran out of yarn. We have Denver, which is more of an orangey red, and the blues and the whites. I think they did a whole series that was named after places. Yeah. And they're out in, um, Seattle. in Seattle, Washington area, which is why we'll have some more West Coast names. We have a camo. Way. It's a muted camo. Yeah. Kind of fun. Um... Oh. This one is stormy sea, and it's teals and grays mm -hmm. and. And for all these pretty. guys, I will put up what I can. Probably have the new colors. I'm limited to twelve photos, so if I have more than twelve colors in stock here, which I might not, we'll have to see. I think we got about eight or nine new colors in. Um, I might have to be creative with the photography to make sure you can see it. This one's dissonance, and it is green, like. A they bright have, green and gray is norm. They have a dissonance in a lot of their different heritage, different types of colors that have that, yeah. um, different types of yarn, I should say. And then Fiesta. Fiesta is one of my favorites, and I think it might be discontinued. It's really pretty. We had someone who made socks to go with a pair of mustard yellow shoes they had. Oh, it was gorgeous. So, um, so those are the old colors that we still have left in stock. Um, I showed you the Boston. Now some of these I'm not going to remember the names of because they're not here. Um, actually, hang on. I might have my packing lists. Yes. <laughs> I can tell you some of the names of these. Um, so we did Boston, which is very independent. Um, we have the Seattle, which again, I'll try to show you some of these of how they knit up. There's Seattle. What color number is 87? Oh, that is like Liz's favorite right now. 87 is called Prep. I don't know where that name comes I from. I think it looks like old school Christmas. It's kind of yellows and reds and teals. It's and, like a tealy green. Yeah. It's really, it it kind of looks like the Alice Springs in the Perth. Yeah. But it's going to self-pattern instead of just being stripey or very I, I think of the Alice Springs in Perth as a, as a, a vintage Christmas, yeah. Christmas mm -hmm. too. Yep. Um, all right, this one, oh my gosh, Sun Dragon Colors. Sun Dragon Colors. Like, I shouldn't only be making things out of Sun Dragon Colors because they're not even really like my personal colors, but they're the shop colors. This one is, if I had to guess, is Flames. Yep, this is Flames. Whoops, oh, turning it the wrong way. That's flames. It's a lot of um, yellow, orange, red. Mostly orange, red. What color is this one? Oh, she likes that one. Well, I don't... Um, what's the number? 89. 89 is called Maud. Maud. Only because it's, it's it like looks a like a darker up, version of Fiesta. Darker, vibrant version of Fiesta. Yep. Where's the... There's the... There it is. Mm. Yep. So, if you like Fiesta and are sad that we don't have it... We have a darker, more vibrant version of that. Um, ooh, I know who's going to want this one. 
Shout out to Amy D. Guess what? We have a teal one. Um, it is 82, which is azul. Azul. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Lovely teals and blues. Mm -hmm. The color is 90. 90 is mermaid. <laughs> it's the teals with purples and slight greeny which, teals. And shout out to Amy yeah. D. She might like that one as well. Yeah. And I think this is the last one. This is this is all purples. This is 86. Purple smoke. Ooh, purples and grays. So there we go, right? It, it's mm -hmm. it's really pretty. There, I mean, I'm really happy with these. It's been hard to think about how to sell um, how to sell self patterning yarn when people can't come in the shop. And, and browse, right, and, and look through, because we have tons more of this yeah. type of stuff. But we're, we figured since the new ones came in and they're all pretty looking and they're nice colors, that um, we would show them off to you on the VSC. And for those that are interested in self-patterning, but maybe not self-patterning sock stuff, we have a- Did you know where I was going with this? E Go ahead. We have a self-patterning DK weight. That's true. Um, the, one of our knitters, shout out to Carol, has made some baby sweaters out of because it only takes a ball, maybe mm -hmm. two. We have a self-patterning worsted, worsted weight, weight with I'm, sock content. I made so. I made hiking socks yep. and um, house socks for my entire family out of the worsted weight version. So if you're interested in something thicker than this stuff, um, let us know for socks or yep. for other things um, or for like baby sweaters. Um, <laughs> One of the things I wanted to point out, this now this is not this yarn, but it is the right thickness. If you're like, I don't wanna make socks. I know several people who are over socks. Um, this is called the sock head hat. And it is simply using sock yarn. Cause someone on Lit Now last night was like, what is that? It just means you use sock weight yarn to make a hat. And it's my go-to mindless movie knitting because once you, the, the ribbing at the bottom is pretty much knit two, purl two, knit two, purl two, purl two, for a bunch of inches. And then after that, you're knitting in a circle until you get to where you need to do the top part. So this hat in a self-patterning yarn would look so cool. Now, what is going to change, now because of my little pigtails, this is gonna be funny, but um, so slouchy hat, you don't have to make it slouchy, but, um, but it could look really cool as a beanie as well. What is going to change with this style of yarn, if you're using it to make a hat rather than socks, depending on the circumference of what you're making and how many stitches are there, the length of your stripes and the patterning that is going to happen is going to change. So this, what is on this as, here's what's going to happen with this yarn, is based mostly upon when you're making socks. So like this guy right here, the socks here. These stripes are about a half inch thick. If you're gonna make a hat, your stripes may not even make it all the way around. We have an example of that. Uh oh, we have an example of that, apparently. Oh, yes, I wish I had a sock of that. I, but this is the worsted weight. But that's how you can tell what the, the width does to the... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm tired, it's been a while. So this is self-patterning worsted weight yarn. This is wider here than here. So can you see how the stripes, same yarn, can you see how the stripes are thicker here because it's a smaller circumference and they're thinner down here because it is a wider circumference. Liz is brilliant. My brain is not working this morning. So thin circumference, thick stripes. Thick circumference, wide circumference, thinner stripes to show you what happens with self-patterning yarn when um, you're making, say, a sock versus a hat? I am brilliant. I am doing a sweater at home out of completely different self-patterning yarn than what we're doing today. Mm -hmm. But it was start at the top and go back and forth and do short rows, and it pools in the weird. So, like, have fun with it. Who cares yeah. if it's socks? <laughs> Just you know. So this would be great for shawls. Oh, this yeah. would be great for, oh, vintage Christmas hats, shawls, sweaters, yeah. even if you wanted to. Oh, it'd be so much fun. I think a sweater made out of this would be gorgeous. And it might strike because of how wide it is to do things. Or, yep. you know, if you or want to make kids stuff. Or it'll pool in weird places, but mm -hmm. then start striping as you get more and more. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, so that's the yarn we're showing off today. Um, and it's the only yarn we're showing off today because we have a couple of notion-y type things that we wanted to show off as well. I'm so excited about these. They came in yesterday. Came in I'm yesterday. so excited. And we had a knitter. I put a, I put a social media post up and they went, ooh, I want the orange one or I want the yellow one. I'm like, it's the same thing in yeah. different lighting. Um, yeah. I finally broke down and jumped on the pin bandwagon. And I had Wizard Pins design. Oh, I'm trying to. Ready? Ready? I'm going to get a little closer. Oh, that's as close as I can get. I had them design pins of my little dragon. Look how cool that is! I'm hoping it's kind of in focus. For it does. It looked in focus from back. For here. what the the camera is. This is this is our little. He's a he's an inch and a quarter, maybe an inch and a half. I gotta go back and look, or I can measure him. He might be really close to an inch and a half, in which case I have to change the online listing. We'll figure it out. Um, but he's look. He's this little dragon, my little drawing. In a pin. In a pin. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I love it. I'm um, making hair bows for me. They have cool, the backings. I didn't get them done last night. Will. Otherwise I would have worn them. Her hair bows, she's going to have to clip the actual pin part off. Um, the backing is a cool little rubber stopper. Instead of those annoying, like, pinchy metal ones that always would pinch my fingers when I had to try to get it on or off. Um, it works wonderfully. Wonderfully, I'm realizing. Let me start with this. Look how nicely it fits on the strap of my Sun Dragon bag. Mm. I, I just realized we're gonna have to circle back and talk about fiber content, and we didn't do any of that with the yarn. We'll do it at the end. Um, these little guys are six seventy-five a piece. How is that for a bargain? Fantastic. And I am just so excited to have them. And they look, I mean, quality looks great. Really happy with my purchase. Um, if we run out, I'm definitely getting more. So we have a whole bunch of them here. Um, if you want to throw them in on the online order if you're shipping, since it's only $6.75 and we do charge $5 flat fee for shipping, you may want to um, add it on to an order of, say, some heritage once we get that up. But they are already... These little pins are already on our online shop because I had a couple people asking at knit night last night. Yeah. And so I said, hang on a second. I took a few photos today. So they're already up there. And if you see the photos and the color looks different in each photo, it's the lighting. It's not that we have different color pins. We only have one color pin. He's pretty much the, the color, the yellow color is kind of this ochre-y color that's like the darker, darker shade of our logo. So, because they got to do a single color, which is still cool. It, so, they they so are cute. so cute. I um, can't wait for my hair bows. <laughs> I can't wait to see your hair bows. Uh, the other thing we are advertising today is Pom Pom. We love Pom Pom. Pom Pom goes on sale today. Pom Pom Quarterly is a, a publication out of England. And um, as the name implies, they publish for a year. This one's a little later than they usually let release it because, you know, the world fell apart, COVID. Um, but they always have awesome stuff in it. So, and I heard there's two covers. I think most of what we got is this cover. I have no idea, actually. I haven't checked through all of them, but I heard there's a couple different covers. Um, they always have tons of patterns inside them. Can I see your other one? Oh, yeah. Um, they're, they always have tons of patterns, and sometimes they have articles about a few other things in there. Um, I want to say ours retail for about $25. I have to look that up, and I would look that up on the computer that you all are currently watching us on because we are filming on my actual computer. So in the, in the $20, $25 range is what these are. And there is a code inside the front cover. Mm -hmm. Oops, it's down here. Um, that when you buy your pom pom, you can go to Ravelry and type in your code. Like, yes, and you can have electronic access. You will have the entire thing. Mm -hmm. I have my pom poms when I take them home. I put them into my Ravelry library so that if I want to look up a pattern, 
and I don't have my paper copy. I have my electronic copy. Too sorry. We were so close to being done, and it almost didn't hiccup. Um, I was saying that you are much more organized than I am because I haven't done that, but it's a really cool thing you can do. I, um, I just discovered that sometimes I want to read my Hong Their Kong summer somewhere. theme is the sun. By the way, so that that explains the what was it sun catcher pasta? The, the sunburst pasta is sunburst. their recipe, and I was looking. It's make your own dough. It's from start to finish. So it's, they have cute tops in yeah. here. Um, we're just trying to wrap this up so we we can. I have a lesson coming up at ten thirty, which is in Ooh. like twenty minutes. Is there something else you would like it's to show? It's the up? the green shawl. Ooh. Um, this looks like it's brioche. They t like to throw brioche is so popular right now. I need to do a tutorial on brioche, but that's going to take like six episodes. They have a crochet. So. Generally, they'll have one crochet, and they have a crochet top. Oh, I'm seeing it's that. It's Delta. It's very cute. Yep. Um, we've we've got a lot of tank tops because it's summertime. Ooh, and. Crocheted scrunchies. <laughs> they have a pattern for oh scrunchies. Oh my gosh, the 80s with... are back. I know scrunchies have kind of been back in for a little while. Yeah. Um, Welcome to the scrunchy renaissance. Crochet, a crocheted bag for our crocheters who we haven't been doing a whole lot of crochet. Um, just, I don't know why. We just haven't. Um, crocheted bag is pretty cool. Textured tank. Look, it's got a little fringe on it. Oh my gosh, there's just so many fun things in warm sun dragon colors another tank top so if you're interested we only have about 10 copies of these but um i will put them up i'll try to get them up by tonight and if you want them you want some scrunchies um take a look all right so i think that's it i'm a little distracted today gotta get go get ready for my lesson and stuff and the Bracken Mountain Breakfast Club is still right outside. So I might have to do my lesson in the sun instead of the shade. But we'll see. Anyway, we love you all. We miss you. Get yourself some self-patterning yarn and bring some joy to your life with not as much work. And I don't know, anything else you got for us, Liz? If you're, if you're interested in other self-patterning yarn, Call the shop and set up a virtual shopping. Mm -hmm. We have, we actually have way more than this. We just mm -hmm. we have way more sock yarn than yeah. this too. It's yeah. just that we have so much; it's hard to show it all off. You know, takes a while to get everything up online. Oh so. my gosh, yes! I wish everything in the shop was online, so all you had to do was point and click and buy from us. And and but we like talking to y'all too. Yeah. So call us. We wish it was it was really safe to let y'all in the shop. But we don't feel that it is. Um, we've loved everyone we've been able to see out on the plaza with masks on. Because that's still keeping people safe. But you get to touch and feel the yarn. And if you're not local, we will do the best we can. We really want to keep our Sun Dragon community going. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, like, I don't have subscribe, any good words. Like, all the me. other stuff. Yes, that, like, you know. subscribe. Um, leave us comments, comments. Things like that. Awesome. I'm going to go start the write up for this, but we'll see how it goes because I do have an outdoor lesson with masks. Yay. And I'm going to try and put some yarn away and maybe that, that hole <laughs> will be gone. No promises, but maybe. Stay tuned. Ooh, that's our cliffhanger. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. We'll see you tomorrow for just a straight up sideshow. Yeah. Okay, there's nothing to trip on today. I promise. Almost. I only brushed my bag. <laughs> it's okay. Bye.